getting details right now. What do you have recently, Janice? Well, Cheyenne and Christy, the word we are getting right now is that more than 100 people were injured because of this train crash. So right now we are looking over these live pictures and you can see there are a lot of emergency management crews out on the scene, obviously trying to assess the damage and uh, really assess all those injuries. So this is what we really know so far is that uh, a New Jersey transit train crashed into a Hoboken station. This happened probably around 8.45 this morning. That's when we started getting those reports. Um, and again, uh, according to, to what we're getting, the reports we're getting is that multiple uh, passengers actually at this time are, are trapped and we're also getting reports of more than 100 injuries. As we look over these live pictures, um, you can see a tent is set up, the emergency crews are out there. Um, it looks like at this point they're just trying to assess everything to, to figure out exactly what happened. And wow, look at these images. We're getting a look from inside that terminal where it looks like a roof just collapse. I mean, these images are really just something here. So we know uh, more than 100 people injured. This was a New Jersey transit train that crashed into uh, a Hoboken uh, train station. And also the word that we are getting, as you can see from those, when you just saw from those photos, is that the crash seriously damaged the terminal itself. So uh, taking out one of the support beams in the building and causing a partial collapse of the roof that covers those tracks. So you saw from those images, uh, really the damage from that train crash. And right now, getting more live pictures. This is from the ground. You can see firefighters on the scene. We obviously see police there. They have the tape up, obviously blocking off this section. It looks like they're um, carrying some stuff here, obviously, to probably assess some of the people that are injured. Again, you see right there more than 100 people injured. Also also getting multiple reports that there may be passengers actually still trapped inside. When you look at the debris there, and uh, right there you see someone sort of looking through that train, probably making sure no one else is there, but some of the reports we're getting is that there may be passengers trapped um, from all that debris from this, crane cra uh, from this train crash. Now, passengers, of course, were evacuated immediately from the terminal because of the structural integrity, uh, really, from what you see there, a roof collapse, and all New Jersey transit services will be diverted as a result. So this crash um, came in around 8.45 this morning. That's when we got those reports. Again, New Jersey Transit uh, transit train crashed into a Hoboken station. More than 100 people injured. Getting reports that there may be some passengers trapped inside, and that's uh, really what they're probably trying to do right now. Obviously, the crash seriously damaging the terminal itself. Passengers evacuated as a result of that. Um, of course, we're going to be staying on top of this story, hoping to get a lot more details on what exactly happened and again more pictures from inside the terminal uh, obviously that's not safe to be there that's why they evacuated all those passengers um, as far as services from this particular train station that's going to have to be diverted at this time you can see the roof collapsed they're looking through there trying to make sure no one is trapped inside we do know more than a hundred people injured in a tr as a train crash into a Hoboken station so Cheyenne Christie we're hoping to get a lot more details on this. We're definitely going to stay on top of this story and be sure to stay with us. And of course, local10.com as well. All, All right, right, Janice, yeah, you can imagine, I mean, sifting it through some of this debris here. This is one of the busiest transit systems in the area. This is rush hour. It's a Thursday. People going in and out of New York, New Jersey. So you can imagine the impact this is having on the area. We'll continue to gather some details for you and stay with Local 10, local10.com for the latest on this crash. We'll be right back. We continue to follow the breaking news out of Hoboken, New Jersey. A train has crashed into a station there. We do know that urban search and rescue crews have been sent to this scene to start looking for people there. Janice Fernandez is uh, in our newsroom, and she's gathering even more details. Well, Christy and Cheyenne uh, getting those reports uh, at a New Jersey transit train crashing into a station. This is in Hoboken. And the reports we are getting, there are more than 100 people injured. And other reports we are getting is that there may be passengers um, still trapped inside. And right now you're looking at these live pictures where you can obviously see a lot of emergency crews out there. This is an all-hands-on-deck situation. Um, you know, we heard Cheyenne mention that um, this is a busy train station. And obviously in New Jersey, this is how commuters get around. This is how people 
people get to work in the mornings. And right now, you can see from that up second, a piece of footage there, you can see people kind of looking through the train, probably making sure that there are no passengers still trapped inside. But we hear that this crash happens at around 8.45 this morning. The crash seriously damaging the terminal itself, as you can see from those images. And that is why they evacuated all passengers from that terminal, hearing, again, at least or more, rather, 100 people injured in this train crash and possibly still passengers inside again, a New Jersey transit train crashing into this Hoboken station. Of course, Christy Cheyenne, we're going to stay on top of this and get a lot more details later on today. A headline, too, more than 100 people injured in this crash. We do not know their conditions, and there could be...